Welcome to this combat replay. Um, in this battle I managed to get another Ace Tanker and the High Caliber Medal. At the start we're going up to the north. I asked this T29 to please join me there as the north is key to this map. Um, you need to hold on tanks there to actually hold off the enemy because if there's no one there the um, enemy medium tanks and possibly hold on heavies can easily flank you. The south is not that important um, to begin with because you can always get back from the north whereas if you're in the south you you have this railway line in the middle that's blocking most of your shots so at the start I was kind of disheartened to actually see that no one act was actually following me at least no one that's good hold down apart from me so I didn't have high hopes at this point in the match of actually uh, being able to stop the enemy, but still I'm pushing on, pushing up to this bush, which gives me a nice spotting location. First shot unfortunately misses. Amax 12T manages to put one into me. Um, there's only one RT on the enemy team, so I'm not that worried about it yet. I'm just putting fire down on this guy. Now we see this little BDR. But we're bouncing off him, but then I see this AMX push up and I know his armor is absolute crap even on the turret But I'm shooting the hull as much as possible because that's easiest to penetrate And he's just giving me really nice shots Try to do a return shot And here I do some bad ones on him And bounce off But in the meantime I'll focus on this BDR my turret armor will stop all their shots, I don't need to worry about them, only about RT. And if you shoot in the gun mantlet or right next to it, you actually can penetrate this tank pretty easily. So that's a tier 7 tank dispatched, and now there's this T21. And I just keep pouring fire into him. He just needs, needs to be damaged as much as possible, and there is the RT hit. Obviously, uh, RT is XPM sniping, as always, so just managed to put a couple of more shots in and then I see this Oni on the minimap very soon. Um, I missed some shots on the MT25 unfortunately, but he is stupid enough to drive into a straight line right up to the railway track, so I just wait and finish him off. Can't hit that guy. Can't really hit that guy, and here I notice the Oni. And I shoot one into the ground, shoot the other one in the side, and reload premium ammo. I didn't know if he was going to turn, and I'm not taking any chances of him winning. So that's one of the best armored tanks on the enemy team taken care of, and so far we're up 5100 W8 and 2400 damage. So a pretty good start to the match. Um, my friend up there in the Challenger is moving up, and I'm going to support him. Uh, the T21, the T20 on the minimap, as you can see, is still over there, so I quickly move over to him and dispatch of him, and then I'm going to try and help this Challenger. But unfortunately, he's taken out by this heavy, and I see this SU-100. I don't actually know what he's doing. He doesn't want to fire and then when he fires he messes me because I turned just in time. He's pulling back and I'm moving up because I don't want to end up in a long range engagement with an SU-100. I want to close the distance as fast as possible. So, and this uh, enemy T-29 in Dutch is really not having a good game. He's not really nice about it, but he DC'd twice already, so he's a little bit upset. So, yeah, SU-100 not over there. So, I've loaded premium ammo, because the frontal armor of the SU-100 is quite good. My penetration is quite lousy, so I don't want to run the chance of bouncing off him. So, put one into the RT. SU-100 misses and thinks he's safe, but he's really not. So, I'll just put a couple of shots through his front plate. And then he decides to pull back and be smart. I whack one into the ground, move up a little bit more, and there he exposes his front plate again. So yeah, 
not going to work, mate. So, took care of him. And now it's time to go RT hunting, but the RT is running for me. He'd rather die by the ARL44 than by me. And so far, uh, the in game re, uh, W8 counter says 7,700, but this match will end up being 10,704 W8. An ace tanker, high caliber. 3,181 damage done, and yeah, a really nice little combat match that day. Uh, I had some massive failed teams, unfortunately, that sort of brought down my experience of the day itself, but this cheered me up quite a lot. Uh, it's always nice if you can carry, um, and in tier 10 matches, the RT is just overpowered. They frequently hit me for 1,000 or more damage, which saps the fun out of playing. So, I hope you enjoyed this replay as well. As always, the end results will be after this replay, and see you next time.